Clay said numerous times that if you guys are going to be the team you want to be, Tyler O'Neill has to be right in the middle of it. Is tonight a perfect example? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, well. I mean, just everybody knows what kind of talent he has. You know, what kind of tools he has. He's one of the fastest guys out there with one of the most power bats out there. I mean, good outfielder, silver slug, or uh, I don't know if he won silver slug, gold glove outfielder. Um, yeah, it's just a big part of our team. So that's uh, it's been a big part of it lately too. So it's good to see him get back going again. Rare instance where Goldie and Arnaldo didn't come through, but you still got to get through a guy like him, right? Well, that I mean, that's what a team does, though, right? Like Tommy came up and he was over his last ten, gets the game winner, the game tying homer, uh, off a very very tough pitcher. Off of, I mean, that bullpen's incredible over there. And then our guy Oni over there with with a with a huge knock, but you know, other guys got on base, kept the inning going, gave him that opportunity. That's what team baseball looks like. Adam, collectively from an offensive approach, how much does an offense that is resilient, especially in the late innings, once it can answer back immediately, an indicative sign of a postseason team? Yeah, I mean, I just think, you know, for for a little while there, we had this thing where, you know, we fell behind. It felt like, oh shoot, we're going to lose, you know, and uh, we needed to kick that in the butt, and so we did. Um, I think we, we all had to look at ourselves in the mirror and, and realize we're a good team. You know, we're, we need to play better. We need to play better when we're behind sometimes, you know, and, and just be tougher. And uh, we had this the same conversation last year, too. We just, sometimes you just got to, you know, you just got to look at yourself and be a little tougher. And it's a long season. Every team goes through things like that. Um, but, uh, you know, playoff, playoff teams, especially World Series winning teams, there's no lead that's safe. You know, everybody feels like they're going to come back all the time, and that's where we are right now. And what's the significance of this series win here late August, getting down the stretch a little more important maybe than some others or not? Well, I mean, you know, they always say it's all the same, but it sure feels more important, don't they, down the stretch, uh, especially against a great team like that, you know, and um, they had us on the ropes twice, and we won both those games. So, um, you know, winning two out of three against the Atlanta Braves in, in World Series, you know, winning team last year, team that knows how to do it, been through it, a bunch of winning players over there, great manager, you know, great pitching coach. They got they got a lot of good things going over there. This was a great series for us. You know, we won this we won this this game today as a total team win. Yesterday we won a total team win. Um, and uh, that's what that's what you that's what you gotta do against great teams. How much did you want to stand or get the Yeah, I mean you know there's there's times Albert and I were talking about this a minute ago. Uh, there's times where I look at him and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You're crazy. <laughs> like, do not even think about it. But my command would started to waver a little bit, you know, and uh, started getting some counts. Do I think I could have got him out? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But uh, I understand the decision. And we bring in the best, you know, reliever in baseball. So hard to argue it. Um, hard to argue. It didn't work out, but process was good. Result wasn't, but process was good. You mentioned bringing in the best reliever in baseball. It's kind of interesting, right? Seventh inning, but... If the game was on the line, you could argue yeah. with those guys coming up. I guess, what can you say about Helsley coming in in the seventh, not the ninth? That's important. Well, that's you know he's uh, he's been our guy all year for for late game, biggest spot in the lineup. You know, and that's where games are won and lost a lot of times. Now there is something to be said for getting those last three outs, but we have very talented guys also down there that can take those last three outs and have experience doing it. So it doesn't just have to be him. Um, it really helps when you have proven guys down there that can get the, those last three are different. No matter what anybody says, they are different, man. I'm telling you, we got a couple guys that can handle that load if he pitches earlier in the game. So um, that was the spot for him. You know, that was the spot. It just didn't work out, but it ended up working out at the end. So. You know what, or is it? Uh, just, just a little bit, just from playing against some stuff. Curious about like, kid who grows up near Atlanta watching the Braves, big Braves fan. Kid who grows up watching the Cardinals, big Cardinals fan. And here you two are in this game pitching yeah. against each other yeah. for the wrong team. Not for well, the wrong team. Well, not the wrong team. <laughs> the, opposite, the opposite team. The opposite he, he might be pitching for the wrong sure, team. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pitching for the right team. I, I pitch for both teams. You know, I feel like I like my spot here. Um, but two great organizations. So we're both blessed to be a part of both of them. Yeah. And is this starting to feel like maybe this team has got, I know you always think they're special, but starting to get that, that feel a little bit? Well, it's, this team's starting to feel that, which is the most important thing. You know, I mean, you can fake your way through some of it, but it, it, at some point it's got to be real. And I feel like these, this team in here, they know that we can do it. You know, since the All-Star break, um, we came in here with a new attitude and, and uh, it's just really shown, you know, these winning games that we would have lost in the first half that we're, we're finding ways to win now instead of finding ways to lose and that's what it takes. I um, apologize if this has already been asked, but you're pre-game mic'd up with ESPN 
a lot of people have commented on how cool that was to be able to see that kind of access. What was that like for you to be able to do that? Yeah, I was comfortable with it. I mean, I, 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 I made the decision to, to do that. Um, I felt like it was going to be a great teaching moment for a lot of people. I felt like it was going to be a great opportunity for baseball. I felt like it was a good opportunity for me. Um, it's not something I want to do every time, sure. but I did feel like uh, it was a situation where baseball, you know, just some sometimes when I'm watching a football game, when they mic a player up, that's my favorite part of the whole thing, you know, getting the inside access. And I thought, you know, baseball needs that a little bit. Baseball needs that. And and uh, I was glad to, to be able to do that today. I thought it was fun. I, it didn't take me out of my focus at all, maybe even focus me a little bit more because I knew, I knew going into it, that if I zooed the first inning, everyone would be like, I can't believe you did the interview. You know? So I thought I was hyper-focused on execution the first inning, um, especially that first batter. Man, I really wanted that first batter. I wanted that first batter bad, uh, just so that that made sense to everybody. But I also wanted to just prove that, you know, there's, that what I was saying out there was true and that that was just a warm-up. I didn't put any stock of what was coming out of my hand into the game at all. That was a new experience. I was going starting right from there. I've never seen a warm up on the back of a baseball card one time in my whole, in my whole life. So um, it was something great, but I was able to, you know, separate that from the game um, while also knowing I needed to deliver after that. How long did it take you to get that routine down the, the pregame? What did you need? It's always evolving a little bit, but it's been, it's been similar to that since 2003. You know, it's been a variation of that ever since then. But uh, I do more stuff inside now, less stuff outside before I start pitching on the mound. Um, but very similar stuff. I, I do more like body activation stuff in here. I mean, I, I really, I could, I could probably throw 10 pitches and be hot, ready to pitch, you know. But uh, I've got a good routine, a good base that I can you know, do less or more. Depending on what I mean, we went to Mexico a couple of years ago. And we didn't have really anything yeah. that we needed there, honestly, and we just made it work. You know, it's fine. Sometimes you just got to make it work. You know.